Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Do excuse me for the delay, guys. I've just been really busy during the past couple of days. Came across this video, of course, by Ridvan um, a couple of days ago. The video was called Muslim Preacher Left Speechless. Okay? And, um, well, at least that's what it says in the thumbnail. Now, how am I left speechless? We're going to find out by going through his video. Let's check it out. And uh, again, uh, to the non-Muslims um, that are new to the channel, hopefully you're going to enjoy the show. Um, please be patient. Hopefully uh, our good friend uh, Radvan will finally engage um, after this video. Let's hope for the best. Oh, very funny. He deflects on this topic by arguing that, according to the Quran, the sun goes and sets in a murky spring, and that I take this literally and do say that, according to the Quran, the sun sets in a, in a muddy, muddy spring, but that this would contradict with Muhammad's hadith, Muhammad's narration, that the sun goes to its resting place to prostrate under the throne of... That's not called a deflection. That's actually um, a, di a direct response to your claim. You made the claim about the sun going into a murky spring. I responded by saying, the hadith doesn't say that. And your response is, that's a deflection. He's deflecting. Do you know what deflecting means? Secondly, thinking of the magical world of the Quran and of Islam, it is not inconceivable to me that the Quran would imagine or that Muhammad would imagine a world where the sun does go into a muddy spring and that is where its resting place is. And then it goes to the throne of Allah. I don't care about the dynamic. Proof. Where is the dalil? Is that in the Quran? Nope. Is that in any authentic hadith? Nope. So why do you claim that this is the case? What matters is, is there any proof that this is the Islamic understanding? And since there isn't proof that this is the Islamic understanding, then your point is baseless. So, no, I'm not going to engage with you. <laughs> check out that fake, check out that fake laughter. Haven't we seen that before? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we seen that before? <laughs> oh boy, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is like you're discussing, you're engaging in a debate. Your opponent makes a point that completely dumbfounds you. Uh -huh. You cannot respond to it. Yeah, and, right. and then you know what you say? You know what you say? You say... It is, it is it is something that do, uh, does not uh, that I do not think about that I do not concern myself. With. That is what I'm trying to tell you. Dear Muslims, do you see what's going on? Dear everybody else, do you see this? Do you see how he is unable to answer a question? And... Do you see how Ridvan is unable to respond to 52 videos? Starts playing games instead. A simple question which he could just move on from by saying, eh, "The answer to that is very simple." You you've had two years to respond to 52 videos. Listen, listen, guys. He doesn't need to respond to 52 videos. All he needs to do is respond to one video. That one video, which is about the sun going into a murky spring. He's had two years. He's had two years to respond to a video. And now he's acting as if he's the, what, the, the champion of polemics because I haven't made the video public? You ignorant person, it is this and this and this. Now that I have answered your question and you're humiliated, how about you answer to those 50 questions? Wouldn't that be brilliant? Wouldn't he thereby totally shut me up and end the doubts and prove the criticism to be nonsensical? I, I've actually, yeah, here's the thing, I've shut you up over 50 times. Why does he, when he is pushed into a corner, resort to saying, I'm not going to engage with you. I'm not going to respond to you. No, I'm not going to give you an answer, which will take me five seconds, probably. Um, but the thing is, I've already made the video. The thing is, it's unlisted. Here's the video. You guys ch can check it out. Here's me going through the, um, what's it called? Well, the the timeline. Here's a couple of clips. This isn't a fake video. This is something real. This is something I've done. Okay, this isn't some sort of uh, like scam. This isn't a fake uh, thumbnail. This is something I've actually uh, put together.
Okay. No, I will not give you an answer. No, because I have made an answer and I will publish that answer once you have done all these other things. No, you don't have to do all these other things. Okay. I mentioned one of two things. You either you either admit that my points from the first video are valid or you actually engage with that video. It's as simple it's as simple as that. Because here's the game that Advan plays. If anyone responds to any video that he puts out, he ignores the response, goes on to the next argument. He never engages with his opponents. There are so many videos, there are so many videos by so many channels that are out on YouTube. All you got to do is type out refutation to apostate prophet, response to apostate prophet, and there's tons of content. So you see, you know what I find really interesting here? Um, check this out. Check this comment out, yeah? Um, apostate prophet 2, Ferry responds 0. Isn't that interesting? So he gets to avoid 52 refutations I've put up against him on my channel, right? And I don't even know why it's 2-0, by the way. Yeah, but, you know, those are uh, A-plus fans, so can't really do much for those guys. I will make a response to the 50 videos that you have made about me, and you will forever be unable to answer what Muhammad meant when he said that the sun goes somewhere. And there's, uh, uh, you know, here's the thing. When I'm watching this clip, I really think he thinks that I faked a thumbnail. That's my only assumption, because he seems so sure of himself. It's either that, or he's baiting me to put out a video first before he puts out a response. Maybe he wants to do that. I don't really know. It's sunset and comes back in the morning. Unless you accept that this hadith is false, which will lead to your entire religion falling apart like a house of cards. <laughs> okay, so this is a very important point that Advan has made, um, and I. this was actually one of the main reasons why I'm making this video. It's to respond to this claim, this ridiculous claim. And it's very clear that Radvan doesn't know the first thing about hadiths. If we actually rejected this hadith, as a false report that the Prophet, peace be upon him, never said. It wouldn't lead Islam to collapsing. It wouldn't lead us to rejecting um, Sahih al-Bukhari or Sahih Muslim. All we would lose from this are three narrations. That's it. Think of it this way. Imagine that we accepted the uh, longer ending of the Gospel of Mark to be false. So that's the view of many Christian polemicists today. If we accept that, does that mean that we chuck the full Gospel of Mark out into the bin? I don't see Christians arguing that. I don't see them rejecting the Gospels of Luke and Matthew or whatever. Um, I know I know Ridvan's not a Christian, I'm just yeah, pointing this out to his um, Christian fan base and those that are new to the channel. Let's be fair, guys. Um, if you reject a specific book in the Bible, you're not rejecting the Bible as a whole. Similarly, a hadith are individual reports. You don't chuck out the whole hadith corpus because you reject one specific hadith. That's not how it works. That Muhammad did not know that he made a false statement, which should make us question why we even trust Muhammad. Or you could say the sun does go somewhere. The earth is flat. In fact, I think this is your only way out of this situation. At least you can save yourself with that, while making yourself look very stupid. But you will not save your religion. This, everybody, is what Islam is. This is the intellectual level of Islam. The intellectual level. By the way, so check this out. Check this out, yeah? He's judged the intellectual level of Islam based on me not making a video public when it's unlisted until he deals with the original video that I uploaded two years ago. Oh, by the way, guys, do you know why Radvan is avoiding the topic of the sun going into a murky spring? Well, it's because that's one of the main reasons that Radvan left Islam. That's why he doesn't want to engage in that specific subject. I came to another point which was about... Uh... 
the sun sinking in a muddy spring, but I researched it and uh, I put that aside too. I just dismissed that, that information. But that would uh, become one of the most difficult things in the end. In any case, I'll see you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.